हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल एंड अवर डॉक्टर मेड चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर पी आर पटेल प्रोफेसर हेड वेटरनरी मेडिसिन वी हैव सीन द वीडियो ऑन लिस्टिस पार्ट वन हियर वी विल सी पार्ट टू इन दिस विल स्टडी द क्लिनिकल साइंस ऑफ वेरियस ऑर्गन्स ऑल्सो एंड इन वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स ऑल्सो and necropsy finding clinical science there are mainly three types of manifestations are observed one is the symptoms of encephalitis abortion and related symptoms and septic symptoms see in one way or the other way the symptoms differ in various animals but nearly the same and these symptoms are centered over these three encephalitis abortion and septicemia in almost all animals symptoms in sheep and goat in early infection the affected sheep separate from the flock they remain separate because it is sick so high temperature cranial nerve dysfunctions because in the pathogenesis we have seen that it ascends to cranial nerves and this function of the cranial nerves the animal run and may fall down in a flaccid motion the word flaccid means animal fall down loose not tight more acute death is observed in 2 to 4 days of infection if it is severe affect an animals develop in coordination of movement head deviation head tilting wallowing in circles moving in circles unilateral facial hyperalgesia means over sensitive more sensitive to the stimuli paralysis of lips and face and these symptoms are observed observed when there is encephalitis the disease is in a septic form so it may produce inflammation in almost all organs or a few organs and micro abscesses or pus in organ the eye is one that is organ of target keratitis corneal ulceration there is a strabismus nystagmus means involuntary movement of the eyeball pan ophthalmitis inflammation of almost all parts of the eye with pus evident in anterior chamber of one or both eyes paralysis of the muscle of the jaw because of the paralysis there is dropped jaw which ensues difficulties in prehension and mastication of the food sometime a pole nose relationship is observed that animal rest its head on the pole that is called a pole nose relationship and that is because of the meningitis because of the meningitis animal become recumbent and death due to the respiratory failure the young ones are very sensitive in that septicemic form occurs the onset of the symptom is sudden and the course of disease is very short death occur in 2 to 3 days so acute form is observed in young ones abortion occur in 3 month of pregnancy and the abortion is as high as 15% annual recurrence in sheep and goat retention of placenta 
mortality in use in case of retention of fetus is observed. The similar signs as sheep and goat is observed in cattle. In course in adult is one to two week. In cows, disease is more acute, and in cows, death follows in two to four days. There is fever, abortion, stillbirth usually occur in a last trimester of the pregnancy. There is retention of placenta also. Abortion is mostly observed after silage feeding. I have already told in etiology that the if the silage is not prepared properly, there is poor silage. It gives way to the growth of this listeria organism, and abortion is observed after silage feeding. So proper silage preparation must be there. Encephalitis sign include movement of animal in circle, circling. There is ptosis because of the excitation. There is half chewed food is observed in mouth and unilateral facial paralysis. Septicemic listeriosis, the septicemic form is more severe and dangerous. In this, no nervous sign, but there is depression, weakness, emaciation, pyrexia, diarrhea, hepatic necrosis, and gastroenteritis. There is corneal opacity, dyspnea, nystagmus and mild ophistotonus is noticed. Ophistotonus means a spasmodic contraction of almost all muscles of the body. When there is spasmodic contraction of this back muscles, the animal assumes a concave position. Animal fall down on the ground. There is stretching of the back and concave. The head is stretched backward tightly because there is spasmodic contraction. The four legs are stretched forward and the hind legs stretched are backward. So that type of posture is observed that is of his throat tonus. And death occur in 12 hours following the infection. Septicemic form is very dangerous. At an necropsy, ophthalmitis is observed and serofibrinous meningitis observed. Septic myelitis also occur. Myelitis means inflammation of spinal cord. There is fever. Because of this myelitis, there is ataxia. Initially, there is knuckling of hind limbs. Progress to weakness and finally progress to paralysis. Here cranial nerves are not involved. And animal affected looks almost normal. Appear alert, bright and eat well. But there is ataxia, paresis and paralysis of hind limbs. The septicemic infection gives the infection to the eye also and it causes ophthalmitis. There is an iritis, swelling of the iris and because of this swelling there is constriction of the pupil. Pupil become very small and in advanced cases there is accumulation of in the anterior chamber of the eye called panus. 
there is corneal opacity may be unilateral or bilateral. Due to septicemic form, this organism causes enteritis also. In winnership, there is immediate death. There is lethargic anorexia. The animal pass lose green colored feces because of the enteritis and pregnant ewes may abort. Necropsy finding of the dysteriosis encephalitis is mostly constantly observed and microabscesses present in central nervous system is an important finding. The visual lesions also occur as multiple foci of necrosis in liver, spleen, myocardium in septicemic form. There is ulcerative abomasitis, enteritis and microabscesses throughout the intestine is observed. You have observed part 2 of the listeriosis requested to share to our veterinarians. If you like, press like button. Requested to subscribe. Thank you very much for observing this video.